G'day Dave here and it's December the 20th and uh, we're getting pretty close aren't we to Christmas and God wants us to know what Christmas is all about. In fact he's been preparing for the very first Christmas for centuries and he's spoken to Abraham, to Abraham's descendants, he's spoken to David, he's spoken through the prophets, he's spoken to uh, Jesus' mother, to Jesus' uncle He's spoken all kinds of things to help us to understand what Christmas is really all about. Because one of the great problems is that Christmas can get so busy that we can forget really what Christmas is all about. And if you go to the shops, you can see the commercial Christmas. You can see all kinds of glitter and tinsel and trees and presents. And you can see the idea that you've just got to buy, 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 buy. You've got a gift, 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 that it's all about putting shops back in the black. It's really focused on the consumerism of giving gifts to each other. And Christmas can kind of get lost with that. Or maybe you've got the holiday picture of Christmas. You know, Christmas is the time when we actually get away. When we get to down tools, we go in the caravan, we spend time at the beach, we go up into the hills, we get time with family, time with friends. Or maybe the festive occasion when we have great feasts and you bring out all these meals and you support it with lots to eat, lots to drink, all kinds of party hats and bonbons and all this sort of festivity. And that's what Christmas is all about. Or maybe it's the singing the singing of particular carols and songs. And these days, of course, it's not just Christmas. It's all kinds of Australiana that we've got to bring out at Christmas time. In fact, I got a card the other day which said nothing about Christmas at all. It was greetings this festive season. And because our season is so festive, it's easy to lose what Christmas is all about. Now, we've been looking at Luke, and the beginning of Luke tells us what Christmas is about. And in particular, the angel came to the shepherds, and he told the shepherds that a saviour was to be born in the house of David, and that saviour would be the Messiah. He would be the Lord. Let's continue with what we see. Suddenly, verse 13, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off, and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. And when they'd seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they'd heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Now, I want us to focus on the response of the shepherds. First of all, they are given an insight into what God is doing. He's bringing about peace. He's bringing his glory in the highest heaven as he brings peace to the earth. As people recognize that God has treated them as they don't deserve, he's been gracious to them so they can receive peace. And the only way that God's peace will come to rest on people is because of what his saving son, Jesus, will go on to do. Jesus is the key to having peace with God. If you don't have peace with God, if you feel you're removed from God, you're feeling restless, you feel cut off from God, you just wish in your heart, in your conscience that you are right with God, then you need to turn to Jesus because it's in Jesus that we find peace with God. But notice also that the shepherds had been told significantly that God's plan was to be fulfilled as he promised the Saviour would be born in Bethlehem. He would be a descendant of David. He would be the Messiah and he would be the Lord. And so we now speak of Jesus Christ as Lord. Jesus, the name given to this baby. Messiah, the Christ, that was his title. Uh, that's what he came to be, to be the king. 
Lord, he is the one who rules over all. And just in these three words, Jesus Christ or Messiah, it's the same word, Hebrew and Greek. Lord, you have in capsule form what the message of Christian faith is all about. It's about God's saviour, who is God's king, sent to rule over us. That is the message ultimately of Christmas. And I want us to see that after the shepherds have gone to Bethlehem and seen the things that had been told them, notice what they do. When they'd seen him, verse 17, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. See, they don't simply go back from Bethlehem, having seen Jesus, the baby, lying in a manger with photographs. Uh, not that they had cameras back in those days, but they're not simply saying, you wouldn't believe what we saw. We saw a baby in a feeding trough. They're not simply saying, we had this amazing experience of being gathered around a mother and a father with a baby in the middle of a stable where there are animals around about. And do you know what? I reckon people are going to make statuettes of us forevermore. No, that's not what they did. They saw the Jesus scene and they remembered the angel's explanation. And so what they went on to say is what had been told them about the child. That is, the heart of the Christmas message is what the angels tell us, not simply what we see with our eyes. And what do the angels tell us? They tell us that today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you and he is the Messiah the Lord. In other words, they tell us that the very heart of Christmas is that God is coming to our world, that God's King has arrived, that he will be on the throne and he will be a rescuer, a saviour for God's people. And that will bring peace to all those on whom God's favour rests. That's the wonderful message of Christmas. You can almost forget the glitter, forget the tinsel, forget the lights, forget the festivity, forget the meal, forget the presents, forget the trees, forget Santa Claus, and never lose sight of what Christmas is all about. Because Christmas is about knowing God through his Saviour, Jesus.